Now the Curra Cup is next in. This is a one mile and six furlong group two for three year olds and upwards and Horridge Marches at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, Reno Responsivini, Gerard Almanzor, Dan Hughes, Archduke Ferdinand. Or oh, Graham Clutterbuck has also got October Tiger, Tamora Finisterre, David Robertson, the Union like Craig Allen, Bridget Craig Beckwith, closed entry Craig Allen, Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes, sealed his fate, Joshua Sutherland, so I told you, David Hooley, Dilemma, Paul Rhodes has also got Illusoria, Beata and Poe Valley at the bottom for Martin Leadham, so 16 of the men in this, a big feel for a long distance group race, and away they go, and... Looks like Bridget might be interested in the lead, but she's right over on the far side and is going to need to try and get across to the fence. And that position is being taken up by Illusoria Beata. And Illusoria Beata is, in fact, the clear leader there from Horridge March in second. And sealed his fate in October Tiger with Almanzor and Poe Valley also close up. But it's Illusoria Beata who's settled down into the lead and has quickly gone two lengths also clear from the blue jacketed Almanzor just showing second on the outside of. Po Valley, and then on the rail is October Tiger for Graham Clutterbuck, who's a bit of an expert at these long distance races. But it's Illusoria Beata who's in the lead, leading by three lengths or so to Po Valley in second, in Horridge Miachi and October Tiger. Almanzor and Unilite after that one, and then sealed his fate. Tamora Finister, Archduke Ferdinand is the grey that's wide on the track. The other grand you can see there at the back is Roaring Hawk, and the one that's just poking his head in the shot is Bridget. It's just the back marker. But it's Illusoria Beata who leads them into the final mile of this race, then from Po Valley, three lengths down in second, then Almanzor is third, and October Tiger is fourth. Then comes Lakeland Highlands and Horridge Miachi with Timoria Finister and Uni Light, then Archduke Ferdinand's after that one, and Reno Response, so I told you. He's going to look for a dream split up the inside trap riding on the rail at the moment, being held in there by Reno Response at the moment. Bridget is trying to make a bit of a forward move, and Dilemma is now the back marker. But it's Illusoria Beata who is the leader. We've sealed his fate coming around the outside in second. October Tiger just needed to be snatched up a little bit there. Almanzor is in fourth. Then comes Horridge Marchi. Then so I told you, looks like he might be getting a split through. Po Valley is on the outside of Reno Response. Then Roaring Hawk, who's starting to get going. Closed entry's got work to do. Lakeland Highland is still sitting quietly in mid-division. Coming around the outside now. Bridget is starting to get a little bit closer. Tamoria Finisterre is all that's dropped out the back. But it's Illusoria Beata who's still in the lead then as they race down towards the final three furlongs in the Cura Cup and it's Illusoria Beata in the lead from sealed his fate second then comes Horridge March he looks to be going really well so I told you has pulled out nicely closed entry is getting a good run through Roaring Hawk is coming on nicely Bridget is also there Poe Valley's dropped right out the back but it's Illusoria Beata into the final two furlongs from Horridge Marchy and so I told you Roaring Hawk and Bridget and just a little bit obscured Reno response but it's almost five and a line as they race past the furlong pole and this could be anybody He's raced this one. Orange Margie on the inside. Bridget on this near side between the three of them. Is Reno Response roaring orc? So I told you, Bridget, it's Reno Response who's in the lead. And Reno Response is just in the lead. Here comes Bridget on last lunch. Reno Response takes it. Bridget second. So I told you, third. Roaring orc fourth. Dilemma from nowhere for fifth. And Poe Valley last. And Reno Response. Holds on from the fast finishing Bridget. Dilemma also coming like an absolute train at the end. That one over another couple of furlongs next week. And Reno Response takes it for Vinnie Gerard. Bridget for Greg Beckwith was second. So I told you, David Hoody third. Roaring Hawk, Nanny was fourth. And Dilemma for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>